Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. If you're not subscribed to me, please do so. I post two times a week. Uh, now I'm super lazy, so I film like four videos a day and not film for two weeks and just relax. Um, so the weather here has been pretty crazy. I live in Houston, Texas and we had a power outage. By the time this video is out, probably it's already long gone. My house was out of electricity for 60 hours. It's pretty insane. And outside was as cold as 13 degree Fahrenheit. We didn't have heater, electricity, whatever. Good thing I have a fireplace and I have friends came over that helped me with the fireplace. At least we have a little bit of that, but it was extremely insane. It was cold, it was brutal. I'm super glad the winter low low is over. For those of you that are living in the cold place, please be safe, stay safe. The good thing about living in Texas is even though this happened, it only happens for a week and it's a disaster. A lot of pipe bursting. The city water level pressure is low. We have to cook our water just because of the pressure super low. So there might be leaks and then there might be like compost or bacteria creeping in the water supply. And because of that, we're in the like, please boil your water first before you consume it. For those of you that live in cold place, please stay safe. I'm pretty sure when this video is out, it's still pretty cold for majority part of the world that's in the North area. All right, so today's video is Bass Lavender Perfume. Lavender is purple, so I'm gonna change my color to purple. All right, Bass Lavender Perfume. I think I'm gonna rank it from my least favorite to my most favorite. So my least favorite is, I don't longer have it, Ariana Grande R.E.M. That one has Zephyr, has lavender. It smells pretty nice. It doesn't project as much as closer to the skin scent. It smells like, like a pencil shaving kind of lavender. It's pretty nice, but the problem is it's using the same sandalwood as a base and the same sandalwood as the same sandalwood as Azadi Voltaire, this is her dry down. I cannot stand that kind of sandalwood. But if you do, if you don't mind any kind of synthetic wood note, then that is a good one to buy, except that one doesn't project much, but it's a celebrity scent, so I don't know. It's my least favorite. I don't recommend it. I return mine. I know that some of you loves it some of you hate it for sure to me it doesn't compete remotely close to cloud but some of you do like that a little bit more so yeah the next one i also don't have it anymore i have a decan mongrelan or the toilet this one has lavender, vanilla, orange, caramel, jasmine, bergamot, and orange. Now, I decided to keep the other perfume. Um, the other toilet, it has the additional citrus note. Also has like jasmine and bergamot. So that, it makes it smells like Dior Joy, other perfume that I used to own. It also smells similar to like Chanel Allure kind of thing, because the dry down, it went a little bit powdery. So yeah, citrus lavender in the opening with a little bit of a jasmine bergamot, blah, blah, blah. So it becomes like a citrus floral, and then the dry down becomes powdery. So if you think about that, that actually smells like Chanel. So yeah, Mon Guerlain or the Toilette smells like a typical chanel -y like leaning towards Chanel. There's nothing but Chanel, I love Chanel. I'm just saying that it smells more like a Chanel. It smells closer to Chanel than to the OG Mon Guerlain. All right, so the next one of my favorite is, I think I'm gonna go with Lush Dirty. I also have a solid perfume of that. I absolutely love Lust Dirty, but it is a little bit masculine. It has mint, tarragon, lavender, fetiver, thyme, sandalwood, orange blossom. 
it has this like strong clean soapy scent it has mint it has lavender i absolutely love it but it does smell a little bit masculine if you like aromatic lavender that means you are in general don't mind those kind of aromatic slightly masculine scent number six so number six to number one i do love them I, actually it's going to be hard to pick number six is i no longer own the original but is yves saint laurent leap i love it i have the dossier version which is floral lavender i also love this oh this is beautiful so the notes listed mandarin neroli black currant jasmine lavender orange blossom vanilla amber and musk it smells like a jasmine lavender orange blossom combo it smells sparkling it smells like bright sparkling lavender orange blossom combo it's very unique i absolutely absolutely love yves saint laurent leap i love it so much that i bought the intense version and i decided to only keep one just because they smell pretty similar except this one has a lot more vanilla so yeah so that's number six number five is all right so five to one i actually own a full bottle of them i think i am going to go with Mon Guerlain or the Parfum. I love this one. It's lavender, vanilla. I absolutely love it. I, this is an easy reach. I often spray it without even thinking because this one doesn't last long. It lasts about three hours. It smells amazing. It's easy reach. It doesn't project too much. It lists beautiful siat, but it sits closer to the skin. You know how sometimes there's perfume that are like a beast mode and there's some perfume that are more intimate. It's for a cuddling session. Say you can watch Netflix and chill and you want to cuddle with your spouse or significant others or your boo and you don't want to choke them with a beast mode heavy heater perfume. I prefer more subtle feminine friendlier scent compared to the heavy hitter but this one falls from number five love it the reason why this one's is less because of the licorice it makes it slightly more spicy but which is also aligned with the dna of girl on house so that's number five Number four, the reason why this is number four is because this is not a lavender dominant perfume. This is more like a marshmallow, reminiscence Gui Mafe. This one is like in every video of mine almost because I absolutely love it. It smells like marshmallow, but there's also lavender in it. So the notes that are listed on Fragrantic are almond, vanilla, tonka, lavender, mint, neroli, rosemary, orange, green notes, sea notes. The reason why I include this in this video, because if you look at Fragrantica, the lavender picture is kind of big. So that means that lavender is a big part of this perfume. Even though I smell more like a marshmallow, but I know that for some of you, it's very lavender dominant scent. So because of that, it also could come across a little bit soapy because of the lavender. But yeah, I love it. That's number four. Number three. This is Mon Guerlain exclusive. Oh, I just love it. This smells 99% similar to Mon Guerlain or the Parfum. The difference is this one has solar notes, toffee, butter, salt, musk, and fern instead of licorice and patchouli in the other one. Because of that, there's nothing spicy in here. The dry down of the Mon Guerlain de Parfum, it's a little bit spicy, it has that licorice, it has that patchouli, whereas this one is just buttery toffee with solar notes, so it's actually more gentler, there's nothing spicy, nothing nothing that bites so because of that I prefer this a lot more, but then again the difference is one percent or less 
I don't recommend owning both. If you have one, don't buy the other. From price, performance per dollar value, I still recommend the um, other perfume. Number two is Yves Saint Laurent Leap Intense. Similar to the Leap Original, but this one's like way better because of the additional benzoin and vanilla. It makes it more like an oriental vanilla. Yeah, love it. Lavender, orange blossom. Um, I know that some people, like it's MJ, prefers the original. I do like the original and I think that the original is more different because it has like sparkling notes. It probably is more special, but the problem with original is I'm super anosmic to it. For the longest time, I only smell cardboard scent and then it disappeared in like two hours. So either you're anosmic to it or you're not. If you're not anosmic to it, you could smell Leap Original for like 12 plus hours. But if you're anosmic to it, you could smell it for less than two hours. Yeah. So because of that, I prefer this one way more because there's no way you could be anosmic to this. All right. Oh, and if you don't want to buy this to spend the money and you want to smell like this, you could just combine the original with Yves Saint Laurent Manifesto. You get a similar result, not exactly the same, but similar result to Lip Intense. All right, so number one, my most favorite lavender scent of all time is Lancome Lavender Triano. This is discontinued. I'm super lucky that I found this on FragranceNet. This one smells like aromatic lavender with milk and vanilla. The, loads, the notes that are listed in Fragrantica are lavender, vanilla, vanilla sugar, Madagascar vanilla, and milk. So yeah, a bunch of vanilla, sugar, lavender, and milk. Love it. If you could find it, you could go ahead and buy it. Do not pay arm and legs for this. It is expensive because all of the Mason Lancome line has been discontinued, but I absolutely love this one. This one do smell pretty darn close to Mon Guerlain, so if you already have this, and if you're a minimalist, don't buy this. If you want to collect them all, go look for this. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. These are my favorite lavender perfume. Turns out I do absolutely love lavender. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.